Hi, welcome to the fourth session on digital principles and system design. In this video lecture, we will discuss about the arithmetic operations. How we can perform these arithmetic operations with all number systems. When we deal about the arithmetic operations, basically we look into addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And division is not within the scope of this course. So, just for the sake of completeness, I have included division. Let's see how to perform addition with all number systems. To start with, we will have decimal number system. So, we just add 7 plus 4 and get 11 and we write 1 and we just carry forward this 1 which is 10 in 11. And we have 1 plus 3 plus 6 which is 10. We write 10 and then carry forward 1 and 1 plus 2 plus 5 we get 8 and 1 plus 4 we get 5. The same manner we will do the addition in binary also. So, we have 1 plus 0 which is 1 and then we have 1 plus 1 which is 2 in decimal and when you convert this into binary we get 1 0. So, we write that 0 here and carry forward that 1. So, we have 1 plus 0 plus 1 again uh, 2 ones. So, we have 1 0. So, we write that 0 and carry forward that 1. So, 1 plus 0 plus 0 we have uh, 1. And uh, one more thing that I wanted to say is with all other number system each number we call it as a digit and each number here it is binary digit and we call that as a bit. Each binary digit we call that as a bit. So, Whenever we get a carry, we just pass on to the next bit positions and that is how we perform addition. And in octal number system, we have 7 plus 2 which is 9, which is not a valid number in octal number system. So, we have to convert this decimal 9 to octal number system. So, we get 1 1 in octal. We write that 1 here and carry forward that 1 to the next uh, digit. So, 1 plus 2 plus 2 we have 5. Then we have 3 plus 7 which is decimal 10. Again when we convert this to octal we have 1 2. So, we write 2 here carry forward 1. So, we have 1 plus 2 plus 0. We get 3 and this 1 comes here. And the same manner we will do the hexadecimal addition as well. So, we have 7 plus 2 which is 9 which is a valid number in hexadecimal. So, we write that 9. D is actually 13 in uh, D in hexadecimal is 13 in decimal. So, 13 plus 13 is 26 in decimal and when we convert this um, 26 in decimal to hexadecimal we get 1 as quotient and remainder is 10. So, this 10 in decimal is represented by A in hexadecimal. So, we write A and carry forward the quotient 1 here. So, 1 plus 4 plus 1 we get 6. This 1 comes here. So, this is how we perform addition. The next operation is subtraction. So, we start with decimal again. So, 7 minus 4 is 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. 5 minus 2 is 3, 4 minus 1 is 3. Uh, in a very similar fashion, we will perform the subtraction in binary as well. 1 minus 0, we get 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. And 0 minus 0 is 0. We go on till this part. Okay, We cannot subtract 1 from 0. So, when we have such situation, we borrow from the next bit position. So, here we have 0 again. So, I just go to the next bit position and I borrow 1 from this position. When we borrow 1 from this bit position to this bit position, that means that I just borrow 1 unit from this position. Okay, But when it comes here, it comes as 2. Okay, it is very similar to how we borrow in decimal. Actually, when I borrow 1 unit from here, I get 10 units in this position, right? The same way, 
when I borrow one unit from this position, since the power of binary number system is 2, I get 2 units here. Or you can say the difference between the power of this position and this position is 2. So, when I borrow one unit from this position, I will get 2 units in this bit position. So, I, I have 2 units here which is 1 0 in binary. So, again from this 1 0, I borrow 1 unit here and when I borrow 1 unit from here and pass it on to the next bit position in the right, I get 2 units here. So, I leave 1 unit here and I have 2 units here. So, I have 1 0 here which is binary 2 and uh, we subtract 1 from 2 and we get 1. We have 1 already here and this 1 will come here. The same way we perform a subtraction with octal number as well. So, 7 minus 2 is 5, 2 minus 2 is 0, 7 minus 3 is 4. Again, I cannot subtract 2 from 0. So, I borrow 1 unit from this position and pass it on here. So, when I borrow 1 unit, I will get 8 units here. So, 8 minus 2 is 6. And when we perform hexadecimal subtraction, 7 minus 2 is 5, D minus D is 0. Again, I cannot subtract 4 from 1. So, I borrow 1 unit from here. So, we get 16 units here. 16 plus 1, 17. 17 minus 4 is 13. And 13 is D in hexadecimal. And this is how we perform subtraction. And with multiplication, I have taken a very simple example. We just double the numbers. So, 7 into 2, 14. I have carry 1, 6 into 2, 12, plus 1, 13. We write 3 and carry forward 1. 5 into 2, 10, plus 1, 11. We carry forward 1 and then 4 into 2, 8, plus 1, 9. So, in binary, the multiplication is very similar. So, by, we are multiplying this number by binary 2. Actually, what we need to do is, since we have 2 bits, so we will multiply this number by 0 first and write all zeros. Anything multiplied by 0 is 0, right? So, we write 0 for all these bit positions here and then we multiply this by 1. When we multiply any number by 1, we get the same number. So, we write that, write this number shifted one position left and we add these partial sums okay um, it is same as that of multiplying this number by 10 so i just add one zero here and uh, so this is how we perform multiplication in binary it is not very different from decimal multiplication if you have more bits all, all that you need to do is that you have to multiply the multiplicand with each bit in the multiplier and write the partial sums one after the other one bit position shifted towards left and then add all the partial sums to get the final product and with octal we multiply 7 into 2 it is um, 14 14 in decimal we convert this to uh, hexadecimal sorry we convert this to octal and we get 1 6 so we write 6 and carry forward 1 2 into 2 is 4 plus 1 we write 5 7 into 2 is 14 converted to octal is 1 6 we write 6 2 into 0 is 0 plus 1 we write here and 1 into 2 is 2 the same way we perform multiplication in hexadecimal as well 7 into 2 is 14 14 is a valid number in hexadecimal so we represent 14 by e and uh, D into 2, D is actually 13, 13 into 2 is 26, 26 in decimal converted to hexadecimal is 1 and remainder is 10. So, the remainder 10 is represented by A and uh, we carry forward the 1 and 2 into 1 is 2 uh, plus 1 we have 3 and then we have 1 into 2, 2. Okay, so this is how we perform multiplication. The next operation is division. Uh, so, we divide this number by 2. So, unlike other operations, okay, division is slightly different. All other operations, multiplication, subtraction and addition, we perform 
the operation from right to left but division we perform from left to right so when we start uh, dividing we try to divide 1 by 2 it's not possible so we take 1 2 together so 12 divided by 2 is 6 then 3 divided by 2 is 1 we have a remainder 1 so that we uh, pass it on to the next bit position i have 14 14 divided by 2 is 7 the next operation is division in binary i am not going in detail of how we perform division with the binary uh, since this is not within the scope of this course but when we perform division which is a power of 2 okay here we use division by 2 which is 2 to the power 1 so in this case the result of division will be just shifting this uh, dividend one bit position that is the power of two the which is two power one okay so i just need to shift once the dividend to the right then i'll get the answer similarly multiplication when the multiplier is some power of two that many number of times we have to shift it to the left to get the uh, product so in binary when the multiplier or the divider is some powers of 2, then we need not even perform multiplication or division, but instead we can shift left or shift right to get the result. And with octal number system, uh, we divide 2 by 2 and we, we get 1. Then we divide this 3 by 2, we get 1 we have a remainder 1 which we pass it on to the next digit. So, we have 8 units we are passing here. So, 8 plus 2 uh, we have 10 here. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then 1 divided by uh, sorry 2 divided by 2 is 1. Similarly, the hexadecimal division. Uh, we divide 4 by 2 get 2 and then D is 13. 13 divided by 2 we get 6 we have a remainder 1 that 1 we pass pass it on to the next digit so we get 16 units here 16 plus 2 is 18 18 divided by 2 is 9 okay so this is how we perform division if you carefully look at the uh, numbers that we have dealt so far we have not dealt with negative numbers even with subtraction, we have subtracted a smaller number from the larger number. Uh, so, how to store negative numbers or how to represent negative numbers in the system that we will see it in the next video lecture. Thank you so much for watching.